Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and today you're going to watch something new. We're going to have a taste challenge. Yep. I spent the day, I roasted a butternut squash, and I roasted some pie pumpkins, and I peeled them, and de-seeded them, and I had some kids help with actually sorting out the seeds. But then I made two pies. Both using the Libby's pumpkin recipe that you'll find on the back of the can. That has always been my secret recipe. But one of these is not like the other. One is pumpkin and one is butternut squash. And we're going to bring the crew out and see if they can taste the difference or see which one they like best. Let's see how they do. Okay, so guys, there are two pies. I like pie. I know. They're not chocolate. They're not chocolate. No. But I, I like pumpkin pie too. And one of them is pumpkin. Wait. One wait. of one of them is butternut squash. Uh, there are two pieces. Alright, so if you guys will both and, and try to keep the one on the left, on the left. The one on the right, on the right. Does that make sense? Which one do you want? So, what you're telling me is you're messing with my pumpkin pie. Yeah, pretty much. So, I'd like you to try them. Tell me which one you, you think is the pumpkin and which one is the butternut squash. Oh. And tell me which one you like best. This is going to be easy, don't you think? All right. There are two pies in front of you, but they are not the same. So the pies on your left, that came from the clear pie pan, pie dish. The pies on your right came from the colored pie dish. So take one, you know, like, and keep the colored pie dish like on your right, and keep the clear pie dish on your left. There you go, like that. One is pumpkin, one is butternut squash. I would like to know which one is the pumpkin, and which one you like the best. I mean, I eat pumpkin pie like crazy around Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, there's not going to be any question in my mind. I, I, I'm going to know this. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Or, which one do you like better? There's only two. It should be better, right? I'm really tired. I don't know if uh, Laura told you, but I spent my day building this shelf that you see behind us, so my taste buds are probably a little bit tired. It's, it's Give me just a minute.
I can't tell the difference. Okay. Is there one you like better than the other? There's no difference, so... <laughs> okay. I think Dave was examining the color on there, huh? The one on the left has a little more texture to it. The one on the right's a little more creamy. It's probably on the one on the right. You think the one on the right is pumpkin? Well, on the left, really. The one on the Be left is pumpkin? Uh, uh, look at the camera. What? Hmm. Well, the one on y'all's left is in a clear pie dish. The one on the right, on y'all's right, is in a uh, like dark red brown <coughs> pie dish. So, are we talking the clear or the colored pie dish? Color. You think it's the pumpkin? <laughs> Do anybody want to make a guess? Pumpkin. What do you think, Shell? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, there's not a whole lot of difference. Which one do you like better? And I'm agreeing with him. I, I think this one is the pumpkin. And you like that one better? I haven't said that yet. Don't rush me. I'm enjoying my pie. She says they taste the same. She'd be happy with either one, I guess. What do you think, Dave? Which one tastes better? Or are they both the same? He's just here for the free bite. <laughs> when that shirt y'all had when you were little, I'm just here for the pizza. Well, he's just here for the pie. That's right. Maybe we should start calling him Dean. <laughs> I'm actually starting to think that that one's the pumpkin. Mr. Silent over here is uh, not got much to say. I ate all of his pie and then said which one was which, huh? That's all you got to say about it? Or they're unnecessary. So you, hmm. you think the one in the color dish is the pumpkin. Which one did you like best, or did you like both equally well? I think I liked the colored one a little more. Okay. Yeah, that's the pumpkin. You ready for the reveal? You want to know? Sure. Are you ready for the reveal? And I will tell you, as far as which one I liked better, not enough difference to uh, care. Aren't we ready for the reveal? Are we ready for the reveal? Do we want to know what we've been eating? What she's been feeding us? <laughs> I mean, how, how, how do we even know that either one of these is pumpkin? The one in the, Don't. In the clear dish ah. is the pumpkin. Yes! I know it. And the one in the color dish is the butternut squash. The one in the colored pie dish 
is butternut squash. The one in the clear pie dish is pumpkin. Are you surprised? Now, like I said, I and got the right one, but it was very, very hard to tell. And Nick said he kind of liked the one in the color dish best. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like it anymore. So butternut squash. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. I would have never thought that that really hard gourd shaped melon, uh, whatever it is. Winter squash. It's winter squash. squash. Yeah. I, I would have never thought that they would be that close. And really the only major difference I saw was this one was more creamy. A little bit more <clears throat> texture to the pumpkin. And, and a slight flavor difference. Okay, cool. All right, were y'all surprised? <laughs> he looks like he's rethinking his life choices. <laughs> but you guys would be happy with either one of these at Christmas and, and Thanksgiving, right? Sure. Okay. So were y'all surprised? Just a little. You want more? Yes. <coughs> Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Here, you have this one. <laughs> no. Oops. Oh. Bless, Bless you. you. Are you allergic to my cooking? <laughs> yes, that's another good thing. <laughs> so, what did you think? Um, I was I was very surprised. Um. I'll tell you, of course, I'm the grand champion taste tester here. I knew, <laughs> I knew my pumpkin He's pie. He's the only one who got it right. But, and, and, and I could tell a difference between the two, trying them at the same time. But honestly, if you put one of these on the table, either one of them and told me it was pumpkin pie, I'd believe you. Um, there, there's very, very little difference. So, I think I like the butternut squash one better. It, it was creamier. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. I mean, you pick pick what you want, to, whichever one's cheapest, and that's what's on the table. There you go. Well, this was a fun experiment. I had never, ever in my life cut up a pumpkin and roasted it and pureed the innards to make a pie, and it did take a, a, a bit of research. So I'm thinking I'm going to save you all that heartache and all that research time and I will let you know what I found out. So look for another video of me getting, sorry guys, it means more pies. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll suffer through. But of course each one makes way more than what you need. So that was kind of interesting to me. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough, so I got two of the pie pumpkins from Food City, and they were two for five dollars. Well, I definitely was able to make one pie, and I think I'm going to be able to make three, maybe four more out of what I got. Wow. Yeah, believe it or not, I got less from the... Now, of course, it was two pumpkins, and I only had one butternut squash. So I got way more. Um... Uh, but the one butternut squash, we're probably looking at maybe three pies out of that butternut squash. Hmm. And the canned pumpkin, every year I just see it going up and up and up. But it's it, it's a requirement. This is one that just, it's a requirement. We always have to have pumpkin pie. Well, maybe I should grow butternut squash and pumpkin next year. and I, uh, You know, I think maybe we should. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. And next up is spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Yeah. We're going to try spaghetti squash. I like spaghetti. And I'm even wondered, wondering about carnival squash and acorn squash. I know. Like I'm a pie out of it? 
Uh, we may try something different. Maybe roast it. Oh. Maybe a soup. I don't know. I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of research ahead of me. Trying lots of new things, and trying to cut the budge a little bit, and trying to make sure that I know what's in the the, the food that I make. Um, I think it tastes better. Not having all the preservatives and ingredients. Yeah, you know, so, sometimes it's not cheaper, but it certainly tastes better and it's healthier. And probably healthier. So uh, I'm very happy, and I I will feel very comfortable giving this to my my family. I mean, with sugar, eggs, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, salt, pumpkin, or butternut squash, and then evaporated milk. You know, and the eggs came from our backyard. Um, so out of that, the only thing that was processed and canned, I know the sugar was, you know, and the salt. I can't, I can't make my own sugar and my own salt um, or the, the spices. But the only thing that was you know, canned was the milk. Well, we should get a cow and then you won't have to can the milk. <laughs> I don't think it's legal where we live. Oh. Oops. We can we, we can we can do the chickens. I think we can do rabbits. Can you milk cats? We have a cat that's always getting pregnant, so I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not going to so. try to milk her. So you, you you have you have fun with that one. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. She's not very friendly. No, she's not. <laughs> anyway, this was fun. I hope that the kids enjoyed it. I think Dave was tired. And I think she'll be wanting to get back to her math homework. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> well, she's wanting to do well on the quiz. Okay. Well. But I'll, I'll bet I'll get some more reaction tomorrow when uh, when they're all fresh and and their taste buds are woke up a little bit. Well, I'm curious if any of our viewers have uh, tried a comparison like this and what they found out. I'm curious too. That is a good question. Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear. You know, have you ever tried and compared pumpkin pie versus the uh, a butternut squash? What did you think? Which one did you like better? Yeah. Sounds good. Tastes good too. Yeah, can I have another piece? Yes, you may. Be right back. I hope you've enjoyed this taste challenge, and I hope you will come back again soon. So we will see you right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Oh, y'all have a great evening. <laughs> I think he's going to have a great evening. You don't want to eat too much too late, honey. Is it too late? Wait, that's kind of like saying don't have too much fun. There's no such thing, right? It's pumpkin pie. Butternut it's squash. It's butternut squash pie. <laughs> it's pie. Mm. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and don't forget to come back. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm sure something I like the butternut squash one better. And by the way, that says a lot. Did I tell you when I was a kid, I, um, I wouldn't eat pumpkin pie until I was in kindergarten? Mm-hmm. I know, I was a weird kid. I should probably cut that off. <laughs> well, one more bite. Now, Miss Jameson asked me to please try one. She brought little ones in for everybody. So to make her happy, I tried it, and then I came home, and I, oh, I never... Mama, how come we never have <laughs> This pie? is so good. I love my mom. <laughs> and I got to hear about that every year yep. at Thanksgiving. Me and too. I, and I think some days, some years, it was even at Christmas.